Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Parkside Cabin Rentals. No one has more cabins, a better variety of layouts, or more location options than Parkside Cabin Rentals. And their cabins are the finest in the Smoky Mountains. That's why we asked them to kick in a three-night stay in the Smokies, one of their cabins for whoever wins, whoever of you wins, our picks contest this year. And you'll get to be, if you stay tuned, we'll tell you how to play against the Cavaliers line, how to play against us coming up later in the show. Thanks to Parkside Cabin Rentals. Just a great company. ParksideCabinRentals.com. All right, let's welcome in the next two members of our panel, VFL Sterling Hinton, VFL Daniel Hood, joining VFL Will Overstreet. And yesterday, Mike Stoll is going to be with us for the SEC games this year. Yesterday, he was at the game, couldn't make it in today. So he sent me... Uh, his takeaways from the game, we call this the stole train. So we're going to get his takeaways from the game, and then we're going to let these guys tear him apart or agree with him if they like. But let's go ahead and listen to Mike Stoll. Hey, John, for me, three takeaways today. I see defense all over the place, and they play with a lot of speed. Much improved from them. Love to see how they got around to the ball. And it was distinctively a mismatch uh, athletically-wise against Virginia. Second thing, offensive line. A lot of questions around Cooper Mays. What happens? Ollie Lane steps in. They played okay. Nothing lights out, but they did an okay job. I think the last thing I would think about is the receivers, right? They looked stiff. They uh, they ran routes well, but they just didn't look smooth trying to catch the ball. For me, that's a concern. Wonder what will uh, develop from that. Maybe it's just a little bit of first game jitters, but wasn't what I had hoped to see. Now, I'll let my VFLs talk about that. They'll probably disagree with me. Just because they want to disagree with me, but they know I'm right. So uh, we'll, we'll see what they have to say. <laughs> All right. By the way, I'll, I'll credit any man who has a poster of himself <laughs> oh, on, behind baby. himself. How many, do you guys have posters of yourselves in your house? No. Uh, no. I've got one of myself behind this podium. <laughs> All right. here, here were Mike Stoll's takeaways. One, defense was fast and active. I guess we all agree with that one. Yeah, we talked yep. about that earlier. Uh, second, offensive line was okay. Now, this is a former offensive lineman yeah. who's grading it. He said it was okay, just okay. Receivers were a little disappointing. He mentioned a couple of times. Yeah, the drops. It didn't look smooth to him. Sterling, I'll let you start, and then Daniel can jump in here. Agree, disagree with his takes. I always disagree with my offensive line. Man. I, I, you I, guys I, played I, together. I, I, teammates. I, my, my, he is my team. I love the way he played, but I don't agree with him. Okay. <laughs> but uh, no, um, uh, Mike made some good points there. Uh, Any of those stand out to you? The one that stands out to me is what I, I just absolutely disagree with is the offensive line. I thought they played lights out. Virginia was not as bad as the team people, as people thought they would be. I mean, and I, I'm sharing. They, 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 John, John, they, okay. they, I mean, the, the score was not indicative to the level of play with Virginia had okay. out there. And I, I can tell you right now, I shared with, with Hood out, I'm off, off camera. You know, when they walked into the stadium, what like a bunch of gladiators walked out. I like, man, these guys, what they doing in Virginia? They just look so good as a, a team out of uniform. And then I thought they played sound football. I just thought Tennessee, I think we, we're ready to get to the next level. Tarzan Jane. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, right. oh, Looks like Tarzan, plays like Jane. There you go. Daniel, uh, take what, do, you, do you agree offensive line? or Because you played a little yeah, offensive yeah, yeah. line. You flipped um, on both sides I, there. I think we're going to have to refer to the stole train as the stool train. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought the offensive line played incredible. Um, I, did. I I thought the defensive line for Virginia was the strong point of the Virginia team. Um, and everyone's seen on, on Twitter, or now X, I guess it's called, uh, Jerome Carvin, where he takes the guy into the cameraman and dumps yeah, it. Yeah, it was John Campbell. Yeah, yeah. or yeah. John Campbell, sorry. And uh, um, the amount of runs that you had in the A gap, just straight up 10, 12 yard runs, like yeah. those are explosive run plays. You've got three great running backs, but you don't get to 282 yards rushing without a great offensive line Absolutely. play. Absolutely. You sent a text to me earlier. You were. Yeah. You like the John Campbell. Yeah, I mean, because you, I thought you saw, you know, I it, remember Stoll a couple of years ago said about our offensive line, and it was true, there were no nasty players. Yeah. There were no mean guys. It was a bunch of powder puff thing looking like at times, taking it and not giving it. You saw guys on the pile driving guys yeah. to the ground, John Campbell taking that guy to the, the, out to the uh, yeah, parking lot. Yeah, there was a touchdown run where he literally – took him through the back of the end zone over a cameraman into the back wall. If anything, he was lucky he didn't get flagged. Yeah, he was. He but was. if you're looking but for... But that's what we want. But that's what you want. want. I mean, you don't want the flag, line. but you want the mean. <laughs> yeah, at the attitude. offensive yeah. line at level, you want it meaner than the defensive line, and a lot of times you don't get that. That game was chippy on the inside. 
They were guys pulling each other off, getting in fights yeah. a little bit. That's at least the attitude you want. Yeah. So I was impressed with that. Um, the other part is I did think agree with him on the wide receiver because it also is in a comparison to the running backs. You saw the running backs make those moves, the shifts, make guys miss. You just didn't see enough from the wide receivers yet to say, can, that, can he throw to this guy and he split a guy and make him miss? Yeah. Maybe that's just not there in this game. But it was very different of like going, hey, the running backs have gotten a lot better to, I don't know where you are as a receiver core if you're going to be able to do those kinds of things. Well, the receivers didn't play bad. It just didn't, we just didn't see those exceptional plays, in yeah. my opinion. And, uh, and, and what was incredible about the way they had to play against, it was all zone. And Virginia didn't play much man against our guys. And the one time, I tell you, I think the DB might have been 15 yards off Squirrel White. If you, I don't know if you guys noticed that a couple of times. Yeah, they're playing so up 10 yards. They're, they're playing deep. So, you know, I, I get it. They were keeping things in front of them. And, uh, you know, I, I'm looking for some exciting plays by our receivers when they get man in coverage. All right, very good. Go ahead quickly, Daniel. Well, I was just going to say the thing I was impressed with Tennessee's receiving core is they had, I think, 12 guys catch a pass. Um, so Joe Milton really That's getting the ball around. Right. They've got so much talent there. That you may not have that one guy that's going to get 1,200, 1,300 yards, but you've got a great group of guys. Very good. All right. Daniel, you stay where you are because we're going to talk a little bit more about the defense uh, when we come back. Uh, all this speed, all this activity, they, they looked better. Virginia, hush, Sterling. Virginia was <laughs> terrible last year, one of the bottom five offenses in college football. So, where do you gauge it? How real was what we saw from the defense yesterday? We'll have the guys discuss that next. Come on back on the Sports Source.